trading activities in the Nigerian Exchange Limited stock market yesterday uh, began the week with negative sentiment as investors profit taking in, in Airtel Africa PLC, Boa Foods Guaranteed Trust Holdings PLC, and 20 others down market capitalization by about 75 billion. Era. The overall market capitalization value lost 75 billion era to close at 25.36 trillion era. From 25.46 trillion era, it opened for trading, while the NGS All Shell Index declined by 139.02 basis point or 0.30% to close at 47,063.28 point from about 47. 1202.30 point it open for trading furthermore the month to date and year to date returns moderated to uh one percent and 10.2 percent respectively the highly capitalized stocks that depreciated the markets were airtel africa that dropped by 1.7 percent to close at 1250 naira and Boa Foods depreciated by 1.46% to close at 16 around 90 Kobo at the close of Monday. GTCO, uh, GTCO also declined by 0.75% to close at 26 naira 40 Kobo. Why Nigerian bureaus tumbled by 0.31% to close at 47 naira 80 Kobo per share uh, yesterday. Meanwhile, market breadth closed at uh, pass at 23 stocks, both advanced and declined. Guinness, Nigeria, Len Africa, and NCR Nigeria recorded the highest price gain of 10% each to close at 66 naira, 55 kobo, and 6, uh, 1 naira, uh, 65 kobo, and uh, 3 naira, 63 kobo per share, uh, respectively. So let's look at uh, the top five gainers for the day in their category you look at guinness ncr len africa upl like i said earlier and the on the flip side you have company like japao gold courtville custodian and ngs group why uh, uh microfinance bank which belongs to nigerian police force declining by about 12 kobo there to close by at two naira eight kobo at the end of monday so these are some of the uh, quick look at the figures we have at hand now but if you take a look at the sector movement the nc the nsc 30 declining by 0.01 percent and nsc banking remain flat relatively flat there you have nsc industries declining by 0.07 percent oil and gas declining by 0.24 percent and the insurance declining by 0.16 percent so these are some of the figures we're having at the moment it's time to bring in our regular analyst mr ambrose modern chief research officer invest data consulting limited he joins us via the telephone now thank you for your time ambrose Thanks for having me again mm. what's your take on the performance of the equities market at the opening of the market yesterday And also, if you look at the, the category of stocks that uh, suffered losses yesterday, uh, this high cap stock also that put the market to where it is now. For me, I am not uh, the stock that they are taking profit in Ether and Anko, like ETB, no, poor food that also the part of stock that you know, put the market up in January. For me, I'm not surprised that the market is the uh, players are taking a uh, profit. And I said last uh, last week that this season of earnings, you know, that earnings season come with the volatility. Not more of a direction. This activity, I mean, that you see up and down movement in stock because every player in the market has different objectives and also they enter at different price. Once you need to make profit on your position, you are about to take it out. And that's how you see stock progress up and down. And this is the beauty of stock market anywhere in the world because when it goes up and down, it gives opportunity for one to buy low and what and sell high. But for me, yes, the market is also a moderate one because if you look at the the market trade at the equilibrium. It tells you that the market is also looking for information. And this information is what the the inflation people were expecting today at the mm. same time and the earnings that has led the market to this level. Now that companies will be coming with their corporate action or dividend announcement, that also changes the face of the market. For me, the market is still strong. As long as the market just uh, crossed the, the shortest moving average of seven, marginally down, but keep above 20 days moving average. 
market is ready for investor to partake, especially those that want to pay, enter for dividend. Now look at those that have contested their pain policy and position before they announce their payout. Let's look at particularly the on nine month on audited financial report of uh, Airtel Africa uh, PLC. Um, yes, there was profit taking, but if you look at the price share or the, the share price of the stock, 1,250 naira uh, per share there. So if you look at f fundamentally, so how strong is this stock? Okay, if you look at the, the sector where the company is operating, we know that all over the world are the tech industry is one no, ruling the world. And being a telecommunicator that has multiple no, offices outside Africa, tech is bound to be in that thing, just because it's a duality company. We know that in Nigeria, any duality company has advantage of selling no, the same stock here in Nigeria, uh, five years like I say, in London or anywhere in the world. But I believe that Earth Africa, because of the nature of its uh, operation, and also operating in all lots of almost uh, two to five African countries, they are also impacting on the bottom line of the company. That's why you see the one of the other guys that just in nine months was impressive for for Intel. Also, don't forget that Intel also invested in dollar and they pay in dollar their dividend. That's the attraction in Intel. And also, don't forget that now that the, the government of Nigeria is also trying to run digital economy, that means the demand for data, both for Intel results and Intel results, that is that they are safe for data has increased. For me, it also impacts on Intel. But my advice for investors in Ether is that have a consider the trade that once you reach your target, always find we are here to stop the defensive stock. The numbers are looking good. Don't be carried by the numbers. Once you reach your investment objective in that stock, you really just jump out for your profit and come back to the game. I see the stock going forward again to around the you know, 1,400, even more five. When they finally you know, release their audited account by March, uh, by March, because we just did the nine months for what? For, for 90. For, for, nine, for nine months, they are still looking forward to see their audited account and around the you know, end of March, around the end of June or May. But for me, SSG has potential to go up depending on you as an investor. Also, SSG is also one of what uh, stock at the as a defensive stock in nature. Uh -huh. That means if you find that kind of stock, you also to kind of do aggregate in your portfolio. I agree. But mm. as you look at that, you mentioned the top gainers as earlier. But I would say from my own point of view, those top gainers, yeah, the only thing I would tell you is that don't be carried away that you're in that is going up. Also, if a stock is going up, always look at the volume to know whether the volume that is whether it's increasing or decreasing. If that is not available, automatically uh, uh, overnight coming available, just to send you send you signal. That means for those that are already positioned in a stock like Guinness, our advice, that's the advice I will give them, but I'm not in their board, is that for them to take profit and leave that stock for now. Despite the positive sentiment for the result, they cannot take it to 100 naira now. Know that this is not a dividend paying stock, and it's not the end of the year for Guinness. Our advisor has invested in that position to sell off and take that position off the appropriate in that stock. Finish. Well, I, I still want to dwell in on the Etel a bit before we go to some other, um, you know, looking at some other figures that we have at hand. Yes, uh, the if you look at subscribers, the subscriber base for Etel at the moment falling in third place after Globalcom, MTN, um, Globalcom, and then, of course, you have Etel in third place, about 37 million subscribers already. Um, where one wonders that perhaps that is also what is imparting into the bottom line and uh, the, the buying interest we are seeing uh, in the share of, of these. But how, how, how more or what more do we expect uh, in terms of uh, buy interest for the stock of uh, Airtel? Well, for me, I can, I can say that Airtel can also, uh, can, can also act as a defensive stock for, for investors in, in that stock because of the nature of his you know, service. And I told you that earlier that this type of uh, this time this time on work because of uh, the post uh, the post uh, uh, COVID COVID nineteen era we are seeing that in telecoms are uh, yeah, because a lot of things have changed. You no know, mm. people move home from work more from home and uh, the people have reduced their travel here and there. If it has been online I think that demand also impact on across them. FTN, FTN, they will all enjoy this uh, you no know, data uh, boom that they are experiencing on T. But I don't see changing again because we have come to adopt this style of life that we work from home, we are doing some meetings anywhere we are. But I, I see you know, that this trend is sustained in NSF. Yeah. Mm. But like I said earlier, don't be carried away. If you have made more profit in NSF, you can catch it. But if you want to play defensive, you have to say it down so you'll be up. Yeah. Mm. But 
let's look at the top decliners now, the top five decliners for uh, the, the end of yesterday. You have Courtville, Custodian in Insurance there. You also have NGS Group and you have uh, uh, Nigerian Police Force Microfinance back declining by 12, uh, 12 Kobo there. Well, Courtville lost about four, four Kobo, uh, Custodian lost about 45 Kobo, while NGS Group lost about one Naira, 50 Kobo. That's represented about 5.66% for the stock of uh, NGS Group. Now, let's look at the the factors um, responsible for this uh, declining we decline we are seeing in some of these uh, stocks. Well, no, 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 is a move for coffee taking, a move from uh, coffee taking. As far as the stock have rallied, investors are about to sell off, I think, their profit. Mm -hmm. That's why you see, anywhere the world, stock goes up and down. For me, those stocks that just uh, suffered losses yesterday would have a lot of profit taking in them. And for me, it's not a, a bad thing. That means those that are not in that stock, now that they are too bad. And the factors that stay positive, you know, or fundamental news for the company, you go ahead and buy in. Those that become people are selling, they know why they say, because they end up before you. But if you see uh, on your phone that here yeah, the stock has potential to go, you find and take an uh, opportunity in the market. For me, so what, the, the decline is not that the stock is bad or the company is bad. It's because of profit taking activities, which is also part and part of the market any day, any time. When the stock rally, people say, come down, they buy again. Mm. This is the beauty of stock market anywhere in the world. Mm. Well, it's the second trading day. So um, w what do we likely to see for the rest of the week? Because there seems so, some a bit of a hand picking of stocks here and there from banking sector to insurance, from insurance to uh, telecom sector, uh, and all, all across all the sectors as well. Now, I'll tell you that uh, investors will continue to reposition their portfolio and also fund managers or you know, investors like a PFA because the earnings uh, release date are closer. If the earnings release are closer, they are bound to move from one stock to another. That's why this portfolio is shuffling or the balance will continue on to start those numbers. And I told you yesterday that this, for this month of uh, February, we'll see those early filers coming to the market if they are results any moment from now. That also will change the face of the market, depending on their mm -hmm. pay that If a company like UCAP will result today and pay one naira for one naira twenty people, it will change the face of UCAP and the market. Now, if just like that, as the more earnings come and they come with their rewards for shareholders or for investors, that will also impact the market positively. For me, I'm not afraid that the market has just uh, to break down the shorter media average of the seven to where it is now, but it did have support because there's some fundamental news which is part of them is uh, this earnings and the best dividend to move the price up. If today, um, uh, those that still release their figure, let us know the state of economic terms of inflation that will also add to the market depending on the outcome of the result we're expecting from the uh, rule of statistics. Mm. You know, we'll talk about inflation the other day, whether it will likely uh, reverse down or we were likely to see a jack up. Uh, so, what, what's your expectation for today? If, if, if going for uh, what uh, the the this thing, uh, they were uh, just go for the, the, the uptick in December is go to, to go by that. I don't see going up in the month of uh, January because they said it's because of first period there was a lot of demand. That's why the price and also insecurity. Insecurity has not changed. But that period that was coming down, apart from that December each of they said because of insecurity and the first period. Yes, in in uh, in month of uh, January, they were still in Nigeria, but there was no festive period. Let's you know, say if that made the price, the uh, inflation to drop, let's look for good for the figure. But look at the price of goods and services uh, around us. We know that prices are still going high. But let's want to see the product because they are the ones that give us a 